everybody. Today I'm going to read this book to you called Nuts to You by Lois Ellert. I really like Lois Ellert's books because she uses a lot of collage. That's when you cut and paste pieces of paper in shape so that it looks like a picture. And it has an exclamation point in the title. Nuts to you. It reminds me of the big squirrel in my backyard. See that squirrel in our tree? I think he'd rather live with me. Nuts to you. I'll wait a while. He could be shy. Or maybe he likes to go way up high. Look, here he comes trying to hide. He can't wait to get inside. She also labels her picture just like we do sometimes when we're writing. She wrote ladybugs. There's a little ladybug. Impatience plant. Begonia plant, peanut. He's in the flowers, he's really bad. He's digging up bulbs, my mom is mad. Tulip bulb. There he goes, up the bricks. On his claws, he steals seeds and eats with his paws. American Goldfinch. Walking on tiptoe, tail held high, he brushes my plants as he zips by. Monarch Butterfly, tomato plant. In our window box, watching us eat, he sits on the flowers and begs for a treat. Petunia plant. I opened my window for some fresh air, but I forgot the screen had a tear. When I came back, guess what I found? That squirrel was there looking around. So I got some nuts, ran out the door, tapped one on the sidewalk, and left a few more. Dandelion plant. Nuts to you, I shouted loud as I could. That squirrel peeked out, I knew he would. House Finch. He looked to the left, he looked to the right. He ran down the bricks and took a big bite. He ate all those nuts then scampered away, but he'll get hungry again someday. I'll keep nuts in my pockets, one or two, and when I see him, I'll say, nuts to you. Dusty Miller plant, bumblebee, yellow jacket wasp, coleus plant. Identification. Squirrels are classified as mammals, the group of animals that nourish their young on milk from and they have hair on their bodies and have warm blood. There are many different kinds of mammals, which are divided into smaller groups. Squirrels are in a group called rodents, the gnawing mammals. Squirrels live all over the world, except for Madagascar and Australia. That reminds me, um, once when I saw a little girl from Australia and she saw a squirrel for the first time, she said, it's a squirrel. And I thought that was pretty cute because she hadn't seen a squirrel before and she, that's how she said it. She was really excited. The squirrel in this book is a gray squirrel whose head and body together measure eight to 10 inches and whose tail measures seven to 10 inches. Teeth. Squirrels, like all rodents, have gnawing teeth. Gray squirrels have two incisors. 
on the top and two on the bottom of their jaws. These teeth are big and strong and they are constantly being worn down with use. Continue grow and they continue growing throughout the squirrel's life. Squirrels also have smaller teeth at the sides of their mouth. Feet. Most squirrels have four toes on their front feet and five toes on their hind feet, which is their back feet. Their claws are very sharp, so they can climb trees and even brick walls too. Just like in the story. Tail. The tail is covered with fur, can be very bushy, and is about as long as a squirrel's body. A squirrel uses its tail for many things. It's an umbrella in the rain or the hot sun. It's a blanket in the winter and a rudder when swimming. It also acts as a furry balancing rod when the squirrel is climbing or leaping from branch to branch. Nest. Home. Gray squirrels are tree squirrels. They love trees, though you often see them on the ground. They, they live in holes in trees or in big leaf nests and they build high in branches or in the forks of trees. You can see their nests most easily in winter when the tree branches are bare. Then you can see the, um, the nests of leaves or even maybe a hole. Food. Gray squirrels like to eat nuts, including acorns, hickory nuts, walnuts, beech nuts, and pecans. The squirrel in my backyard, I think he likes to eat loquats. They also eat maple seeds, corn, pine seeds, and fruit. If you want to feed squirrels, leave nuts for them on the ground. Don't ever let them take a nut from your hand. Remember that squirrels are wild animals and can bite or scratch. You may have watched a squirrel dig a hole with its front feet and then bury a nut, maybe one you put out. Then the squirrel covers it up by patting the dirt with its feet and nose. It's laying in food supply for winter. Did you ever wonder how squirrels remember where they bury all those nuts? Squirrels have sensitive noses and can smell food even under the snow. They forget some though. And those nuts sprout into many, many trees. So squirrels really help um, the forests grow. They make trees grow when they bury nuts and seeds. And this is a little bit about the author. Artist Lois Ellert loves watching squirrels from the windows of her studio while she works. She is the creator of award-winning books for children, including My World, Growing Vegetable Soup, Planting a Rainbow, Red Leaf, Yellow Leaf, and the best-selling Waiting for Wings, and most recently, Pie in the Sky. Nuts to You was inspired by an actual experience she had with one of the squirrels in her Milwaukee neighborhood. So she really likes, she's an artist. She makes beautiful collages and paints. Um, and she also loves nature. A lot of her books are about flowers and leaves and things in nature and birds. So that's the end. I hope you liked it.